Survivors are encouraged to watch for and report any suspicious activity or potential fraud following a disaster. Identity thieves, con artists, and other criminals may target survivors seeking help. The most common types of disaster fraud include people posing as housing inspectors or building contractors or soliciting for disaster donations and charging for free services. FEMA staff will never charge applicants for disaster assistance, home inspections, help filling out applications, or solicit for donations. Scam attempts can be made over the phone, by mail or email, through the internet, or in person. It is important to remain alert Ask questions and always ask for identification when someone claims to represent FEMA or another government agency. Don't wire money or pay with debit cards or gift cards. Don't offer personal financial information over the phone. Know who you are dealing with and always ask for identification. Take your time to decide about repairs and get an agreement with your contractor in writing. Make sure the contract details all work to be performed, the cost, a projected completion date, and how to negotiate changes and settle disputes. Get estimates from multiple contractors and your insurance company. Reject any offer that seems too good to be true. Make sure contractors have the proper licensing and are bonded. Demand satisfaction. Don't sign completion papers or make final payment until the work is done correctly. Take a picture of your contractor's business card and identification. Remember, report your concerns. Potential fraud should be reported to your law enforcement agency. You can also contact FEMA Disaster Fraud Hotline at 866-720-5721.